Hey everybody, welcome to Warrior DNA. My name is Larry Wallace and this is Stacy Wallace. Today we are in beautiful Port Aransas, Texas on the beach. And uh, we're gonna talk about what to do when life throws you lemonades. Lemons, lemonade? No, <laughs> lemons, you make lemonade. Life is what you make of it. Okay, so we had to get off the beach because it was super windy. <laughs> super windy. <laughs> was like whipping my hair all over the place. And it looked like there was a, a little rainstorm coming too, so we felt like it was best just to change locations and to get into a little bit more protected areas. And there were so. man eating birds. <laughs> Anyhow, <Attacking> we're <laughs> Stacy. <laughs> I was I was conducting them like an orchestra. Yes, and then and then she threw the food at me. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't figure out how to get out of all those birds. Anyhow, we are excited today because we're going to talk to you about some things that we learned here in Port Aransas, Texas. It was an amazing surprise trip. We were actually going to spend a few days house sitting uh, in Ar in Austin, and got a call from my brother and said, "Hey, why don't you guys come down? We've got the RV down here and got a nice place on Port Aransas Beach." And it was beautiful. Oh, goodness talk about a blessing we had been praying this year God do just thank you that we're not going to stress we're not going to worry about where we're going to be able to go on vacation what we're going to be able to do and um, all of a sudden the phone call comes and it was an amazing amazing trip yeah beautiful weather sunny white sandy beaches it was great and we have a deep desire to in fact we're going back we made the decision we're going back we're going to be selling our home and getting our fifth wheel and we're going to be doing this life where we can be out on the road it's amazing there's places everybody everywhere you go there's people to minister to yeah there's men and women who are hurting and we love talking about m nation we love talking about m women and uh, our heart to get people plugged into these groups all over so we're excited about making it our lifestyle we are very soon but we yeah. learned something on this trip <laughs> yeah we learned a lot on this trip <laughs> one of the biggest things is take a rake <laughs> That's funny. Yes, take a rake. Here's what that means. Okay, so day one, perfect yeah, on the beach. Absolutely perfect. beautiful. Gorgeous sand. Breezy, Breezy. Cool. Day two, we get out on the beach, and I don't know what happened, but something or someone somewhere slushed up a gigantic ocean of seaweed on the beach everywhere yeah. it was amazing like it was this red seaweed everywhere there was like not a bald spot to you know set up a your your tent your chairs or anything like that because we had driven all up and down the beach and didn't find anywhere and so we noticed everybody is just sitting in the weed they're like <laughs> sitting in this nasty They're, seaweed. It, like they just put their chairs on top of it, yeah. all the way down the beach. Yeah. Thousands and thousands or of people. Or their tent, that was kind of weird. It was like they had seaweed underneath their tent. Yeah, it was really weird. So we cleaned off the beach mm -hmm. and cleared the beach. And you know, when life gives you lemons, you can either just complain about it, worry about it, stress about it, go, this is what, this isn't what we planned it to be, or make shift happen. And so we took that seaweed. We didn't make lemonade out of it. No, but we did something about it. So we all just pitched in and um, just started picking it up and tossing it aside. Clearing out our portion of the beach. Yeah, so that so that our portion of the beach that we looked at and you know went to the water Played through. Played football and sports. It was clear. Not a single piece of seaweed on it. It was a little bit of seaweed left. Yeah, just. Like and that. so I was not satisfied with that. Nope. So, and I needed exercise. Yeah. So Stacy saw someone driving by, uh, one of the maintenance guys. He had a rake in the back of his down. cart, and she chased him down and said, "Hey, can I borrow that rake?" And so Stacy came back with the rake and uh, started raking the beach so that it was pristine. <laughs> it was pristine. And I was just thinking, and I kept looking to the right and looking to the left and looking at all the people that are just sitting in the dung. Anybody, anybody could have done the exact same thing made the effort, taking the effort, 
but they would rather choose to sit amongst the seaweed and complain about it all day like we heard these people oh this is so gross and ours was just pristine and it's not to I mean, it's just, it's what you make of it, right? right. We had the music playing. We had Barb Marley going. <laughs> it was funny because... Every little thing is going to be all right. <laughs> Don't you worry <laughs> about, about a thing. thing. Cause every little thing... She's trying to get me to sing and I'm gonna not going to do it. It's going to be all right. <laughs> but you know, it was funny because people were walking up and down the beach and they would stop right in front of our little section and just sit there and stare at it like, oh my goodness, that is amazing. <laughs> and the truth is, is with a little bit of effort, you can make shift happen. And so the point today is just a real simple point. You might be in a life of dung right now. It might really feel like shift without the F has happened in your life. <laughs> so make shift happen. Choose to do something and do it with joy. Put on a little Bob Marley. Everything's going to be all right. You're going to get through it. Think about all the things God has brought you through. He's going to do it again. So you can either stress about it, worry about it, sit in it and complain about it. Or you can get off of your backside and do something about it. I have a song called Get Off Your Anatomy and Do It Now. <laughs> you can check that out on Spotify. <laughs> get Off Your Anatomy. Yes. There's another A word that was supposed to be in there, but I decided anatomy was better. More appropriate. <laughs> Anyhow, today we want to encourage you that whatever it is that you're going through, Romans 8, 28 says, all things, even seaweed, all things work together for good to them that love God and are called according to his purpose. You know, we went back to that same guy, I think his name was George, that let us use the rake. And George happened to put us on a great fishing hole. Yes. And again, we wouldn't have talked to George if it got major, all these golf carts people with their golf and this guy's just gonna park right here with his big diesel truck <laughs> and his golf carts. that's great yeah he's just gonna leave it running but that's okay because every little thing is it's gonna, gonna be, be all right, right. don't you worry he's testing us yeah he heard what our message was and thought hey let me sit there and test them so let's, watch this let's see what they do with it sir mm -hmm. can you just turn that engine off just for a second we're videoing could you turn that off for just a second so we can finish our video? Oh, You're awesome. Thank you. See, because you could just sit there in the middle of the diesel truck running or make shift happen. Yeah. See, sometimes you just got to ask for a rake. <laughs> totally oblivious. <laughs> All right. No, we sit here on a bench in the middle of a sunny day with a camera facing at us just because we want to. <laughs> We're doing selfies. <laughs> so anyhow, everything's going to be all right. Taking everything that's thrown at you, whether it's seaweed, whether it's a, a diagnosis, whether I had a friend of mine, got, she hit a, a deer this week. And I remember her calling me very, very, very upset. And it was just praying peace, peace. Because here's the thing, God has saved you over and over and over again he's gonna do it again and so you can either stress through it worry through it or you can trust him that everything's gonna work out great George put us on a great fishing hole when we returned the rake we said hey do you know any place where we can go fishing had a couple of boys with us and took them fishing they caught how many fish 31 fish 31 fish in two hours we're just reeling them in one after all because the other. we were willing to make shift happen Romans 8, 28, all things, even the seemingly grossest things, work together for good when you put your faith and trust in God. Thanks for watching, everybody. We look forward to next week's Warrior DNA. We'll take you somewhere. It'll be great. Do us a huge favor. If you haven't already done so, hit the subscribe button, and then right next to it, there's a little bell. If you click that bell, every time that we post a new video, you'll get alerted. And then as always, please leave us a comment below. Let us know that you stopped by. Let us know what you thought about the video we'd love to hear from you where's your favorite vacation place or your favorite fishing hole you might want to go to it yes have a great <laughs> week everybody bye